What's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again with another arcade one-up video. Today I just kind of want to show off my modded Rampage cabinet. I actually planned on doing a review on it while it was stocked, but I just couldn't leave it alone. I had to throw a Raspberry Pi inside of here. So if you're not familiar with these arcade one-up cabinets, the Rampage version is actually a three-player cabinet. And I've just installed a bunch of MAME games and I filter them by player count. So we have three to eight players here and I'm just going to be using three because obviously we only have three controllers on here. And I really haven't planned on doing a tutorial on this. I've already done one on installing a Raspberry Pi on the Street Fighter version. If you want to go about doing this, you're just going to need to add another encoder to the third player. That's pretty much it. Everything else is the same. For this one here, I actually use the stock buttons. I've set up the start button or the player one, player two, and player three start button as player one coin and start, player two coin and start, and player three coin and start. So when we play a main game, we're just going to press that. It's going to start your character and insert a coin. The only real issue I've run into is some of these four player games require three buttons. So I might have to add an extra action button to each player. For instance, X-Men the arcade game required three buttons per player and we only have two on this control deck. So I might just add one. But there still are a lot of games that only require two buttons. Like The Simpsons. Press your button, Jax. Alright, so I'm Marge. Jordan's Homer. Another awesome game that can be played with two buttons is Ninja Turtles, the arcade game. Press when you get caught up, wiggle, wiggle the stick. And one of my all time favorite arcade games, Sunset Riders, only required two buttons. more bowls I think yeah no, no. get on top and run just run oh, I forgot Here's a quick look at the internals. So I have my 12 volt adapter here for the LCD controller and my five volt for the Raspberry Pi. I just need to pick up another power strip. I didn't want to rob it from another project. Right here we have the Raspberry Pi and the mess of wiring for the encoders that I'm using and the LCD controller. Now I'm going to leave links for everything I used in the description. If you want to install a Pi in your arcade one up, I'm also going to leave a link to that video. Got a full tutorial on it with everything you need to know. Like I mentioned, I did use the stock buttons and sticks that came with the Rampage cabinet. And I'm really only going to be running MAME 2003, so I've set up the Player 1, Player 2, Player 3 as insert coin and start for each player. I will be finding a use for the power button and the volume switches. I just really hadn't messed around with it yet. I'm going to go ahead and flip this thing over. I'm only using two encoders here. I'm using a cheap Chinese USB encoder. I actually love these things. I know a lot of people hate them, but they work great for small cabinets like this. Just wired up to the stock buttons and sticks. 
and for player one and two, I'm using a two-player Zenmo USB encoder. I had an extra one laying around, so I figured I'd go ahead and use it in this build. I just used female GPIO wires for player one and two and soldered them to the buttons and the sticks. It was actually pretty simple to do this. The main issue that I ran into was configuring my buttons correctly in MAME. With the two different encoders that I had, it was a little tricky on getting the wiring right, but after a little bit of trial and error, it works fine now. The last thing I really want to do to this is clean up the wiring inside and add an extra button for each player because I really want X-Men on my list of games I can play with this. And like I said, it is a three button game. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. If you're interested in throwing a Raspberry Pi inside of your arcade one up cabinet, check out my tutorial video. If you want to do a Pandora's box, also have a video on that. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you could hit that like button, Subscribe to the channel, and like always, thanks for watching.